everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really 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 excited because it's officially autumn and I would actually like to do a tag video today and kind of following tradition <laughs> I wasn't really tagged to do this video. I just really wanted to do it so I'm going to go ahead and do the sweater weather tag because since the weather is getting colder I've started whipping out my comfy cozy jumpers and I thought this tag would be absolutely perfect. So yeah you know what without any further ado let's Let's jump right on into the questions. The very first question is favorite candle scent. So if you watched my videos around Christmas time last year you would have seen this candle in tea light shape and I got it in a tub from a friend of mine and it's glorious and this is the scent toasted hazelnut. It smells so freaking delicious Oh my god, like literally the temptation to eat this candle is real, let me tell you. To me this kind of smells like chocolatey and hazelnutty at the same time. It's a really nice warm round scent with a hint of sweetness to it and it just smells absolutely magical. And I'm excited because now I'm finished talking about this, which means that I can put it back there and light it and just spread the nice scent all around my apartment and I love this candle so much. I feel complete now, like no kidding. Coffee, tea or hot chocolate? If I had to choose, I would go for tea because that's what I drink the most. Let's see. What's the best fall memory you have? Uh, I don't really have anything that comes to mind. Oh my gosh, no, I know. My friendship group from like 8th to 10th grade, every single year we would have like this um, tradition on ha Halloween where, we'd, where we would get together and watch scary movies and just have a really nice cozy night in watching a bunch of scary videos and that was just so fun to me and yeah I that yeah <laughs> that was just so amazing and such a nice tradition to have. Which makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged liner? So I'm definitely going to go for the dark lips because I actually really suck really hard at making a winged eyeliner. I can never do it and I also don't think it suits me that well. So whenever I'm doing like a liquid eyeliner like I have today, I just kind of do like my eye shape. I never wing it out because I just feel like my eyes kind of look weird when I do it. Probably because I'm just not very good at applying it though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Breast, breast, <laughs> that was not what I was going to say. Best fragrance for fall. And to be honest guys, I'm not the person to kind of change my fragrance when the season changed. No, I'm super picky when it comes to scents, I, as I've just said previously. So whenever I find a perfume that I like, I will wear it until they stop producing that perfume. And recently I have been absolutely loving the Dolce & Gabbana Rose Excelsa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I feel like it's kind of, I feel like grown up and all like classy when I'm wearing this this perfume. And it smells of roses and it's kind of not a very sweet scent. It's a rosy scent, but it's not very sweet. It's more on the fresh side and I really like it. Favorite Thanksgiving food. So in Norway, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but one thing I absolutely love during the autumn time to like eat is when my family makes something called fordikor, which is basically like um, lamb, meat and, ca and cabbage. It's like a really Norwegian autumn dish and it's just so delicious and yeah. Most worn sweater. My most worn sweater is actually the one I'm wearing right now. It's kind of, it's black with silver sparkles on it. I wore it last year as well and I actually like this jumper so much that I got it in blue and green <laughs> and you will be seeing those later in the season because I've not yet taken them out from the attic so yeah. Must have nail polish for fall. I couldn't choose one so I've selected three uh, nail polishes I want to show you. No, that was a lie. I have, I have selected four colors I want to show you. And um, the first one is one that I have been using almost every single year si since like 2012 I think and it's Bahama Mama by Essie. This is just a really gorgeous purple toned winey berry color. It's just so pretty and I really 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 like it. The next one is kind of in that red genre. It's the newest one in my collection actually. It's from the new Essie collection from like the Japanese inspired collection and this is Maki Me Happy um, and it looks like this. This is just a really nice muted red 
color and it's just so gorgeous it's not like bam red it's more like a ross dark raspberry color like without the purple and it's <laughs> Oh my god, it's just so pretty. The next one is by a brand called Kix and this is in the color Camouflage. This is kind of like a grayish green color. It's really really pretty. It's not like a moss green color. It's more on a... it's kind of a muted grayish green. <laughs> the very last nail polish I want to share with you guys is a gorgeous 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 dual tone blue. This is a cobalt blue color and as most of you guys know, this is my favorite color of all freaking time. It's gorgeous. This is called Aruba Blue. This is a really metallic nail polish, which means that it's in some lights it will look like a nice royal blue. Sometimes it will look almost black and it kind of changes colors depending on what light you have on your hands, which I really like because it makes it look all fancy. <laughs> Football games or jumping in leaf piles. I like more to kind of participate in sports rather than watching it, so I will definitely go for jumping in leaf piles because that sounds like so much fun. Skinny jeans or leggings. I actually like to wear both of them, but if I'm going to choose the one I most likely will be wearing all the time this year, it's definitely black skinny jeans. Combat boots or Uggs. I've actually never owned Uggs because I don't Personally, I don't really like how they look, so I'm definitely going to go for combat boots. Is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Honestly guys, I wouldn't know. I have never tasted the taste of pumpkin ever in my life, so I'm just going to say I don't know. <laughs> Favorite fall TV show? So I'm... Like during the winter time, I'm more on like the creepier series. Like I love watching criminal series and just stuff like that. So I guess I'm going to go for... Um, I'm watching Castle at the moment, which why I didn't watch that sooner is just mind-blowing to me. It's just so good. Uh, so I'm going to go with Castle, uh, Criminal Minds and Pretty Little Liars because that is so creepy. So yeah. <laughs> what song really gets you into the fall spirit? So for me, I don't really have a personal song gets me into the fall mood. I normally just go onto my phone and put on Spotify and I just choose one of those autumn lists. Like no, recently I've been listening to a list playlist called Autumn Leaves and yeah, I just, I just like to listen to kind of chill songs, like really calming and soothing and just cozy songs during this time of year. The very last question in this tag, guys, is who should do this tag next? And as usual, I went onto Twitter and I asked you guys if some of you would like to be tagged in a tag. And if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to be tagged in videos in the future, you should definitely follow me because whenever I'm doing a tag video, I just go on there and I ask if anyone would like to be tagged in it. So yeah, go and check out my Twitter. <laughs> so the people I think should do this tag next is M for Maria, um, vibing with Jess and Charles, Pereira UK and the very last one I'm just really terrified of saying out loud because I'm probably going to butcher, butcher your name but I'm really sorry I hope I don't offend you but I'm going to try. It's Sion Louise. I am sorry I, I've never heard your name before um, but I hope I didn't butcher it too hard. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and had fun watching it, please give it a nice thumbs up. And also if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you would like to see more videos from me in the future, please go ahead and push the red button down below. It would totally make my entire week and it would be so amazing if you become a part of our little tiny weird family here online. And yeah, I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. <laughs>